Hello everybody, it's Moshara Wolf here, and today we are going to be playing more light. In this episode of light, we're going to be finding out who the culprit is. Okay, let's see. No good, she's gone. Really? Really. Hey, she's wounded. On the neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm, looks like bite marks. Well, what do we have, what to do here? I'll have to tell that wing, the winged informant, I suppose. We'll give them a call, as much as I hate to see them. It's their job to deal with this kind of thing. After all, <laughs> let's see. What does she have? Something happened. Someone died. Probably murdered. Huh? It was the informant in the hat. Let me your phone so I can call you know who. Hmm. <sighs> I'll make the call. They'll be here tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place, lock the door, and stay inside. Glad you understand. We'll be asking for money later, right? You're so rude. I just don't want to lend, any lend you anything important to my work. I won't stand for it. You s if you sneakily made off with the person personal information on my phone, it just made that little. Well, you do I. What, what, are, what are we gonna do about her? Just gonna leave her until they arrive. Yes. If she was indeed murdered, we wouldn't want to make any missteps in the crime scene, yes? For leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts? Still. Still, though. It's hard to believe the Hatter has gone in. Wasn't she rather strong? But she could also go down quick if someone got behind her. Oh, would she? Is that what happened when you first met? So not enough info. We'll grab her more tomorrow. Oh, and just at a glance, it looked like there were bite marks in the neck. So you think this is the town? So you think this town's vampire story? Still things up in the air. So whether as to whether it's true. Hmm, how puzzling. Let's think this over carefully tomorrow. Good idea. All right, see you. Take care. All right, Kitty, what do you have to say about this? So I see another one. All right, great. Love your, I love your words of encouragement on the matter. Actually, let's see if there's anything. No. Can you get to sleep? I don't know. If you really can't fall asleep, you can sleep over there. <gasps> As if you're actually that dejected. Good night. Good night. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And I only just been talking to her. Will I even get to sleep tonight? I might not. Ow! Finally, we're leaving. Get ready. I'm sleepy. Good morning, where that came from. I'm up, good morning. <clears throat> good, let's go. Oh, goodness.
long time no see. Yeah, to be expected though. You're always around when these things happen. The child. Hey, let me make this make this clear. She's not my child. Got that all done with you. <laughs> I love that. You again. And I'll suppose you're the culprit in this case. And the child there isn't she a dragon? First one now kidnapping? Where does it end with you, dragon? She asked for my egg and just suddenly appeared on my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. <laughs> You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? Calm down a bit, Brett. What? As you wish. Hmm, indeed she does seem to be a dragon. Little dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I'm Neil Macefield. I can't. I can't do different voices for guys, so, you know, you just have to deal with them kind of having the same voice because it's impossible for me. Captain of the police, this is Vince Captain Brett. Vice Captain Brett. And he and I are both dragons, same as you. I've never met any other dragons before. He, I'm Athena. Call me Epi. Hmm. We still have this to attend to, so excuse us for now. We until, intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain! Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Hmm, thanks. So long then. So, those guys are dragons too? First time you met them, eh? Huh? Well, I've been avoiding them as much as I can. And <clears throat> the plague. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Oh, God! Freaking sticky keys. Okay. You know the drill, don't want her off too far. I know. Mm. Alright, I'll go to her first. Alright, you guys. You guys have nothing. I don't think you guys are. Look, okay, I'm gonna go around and see if these guys have anything interesting to say. Like, looks like it's handwritten, but a few pages are torn out. What? I wonder what was on the missing pages. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to you. It seems someone was attacked. Even after my my insisting they refrain from going out at night. Why, oh, you poor thing. Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here. So any new info? Alright, I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. This is an old story. There's, there was a family of vampires who lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls and god damn it, conditioning. Yet, they're Oh my god! Ah! They were very gentle souls, yet they came to be many cases of missing townspeople. But one day, those who had gone missing were found in that family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was it this town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed for being hor horrifying vampires. It seems one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town, and they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened, but one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. 
what then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were ripped out. Ah, oh, that's right. This was a written in a book, a diary perhaps, by someone named Jill Rigfire. Seriously? Then that's the same thing that I found. Ugh. In short, the ones who would know the most would eat the siblings. Right, I'll go check with them. And him, him. Yeah, what? My payment? I already knew all that stuff. What? You should have told me that first. You're... What's this now? It's a tea cookie. I could have told you that. I'm asking why you're showing me this. What's this? Does an informant like you not know about these cookies? Hmm? Well, huh? Can't believe there would be anyone who doesn't. I know, of course, I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes. Only one baked every two months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all about these cookies, don't you? Believe me, yes! But you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will, counting on you if you find any more any new info. Yes, thank you. The Cat, what do you think about this? I think your mistress should be re-educated starting with the basics. I must admit, on numerous occasions, that the mistress, mistress ha is a bit slow on the uptake. But in such, I do not get to see su I do get to see some amusing things. As long as I get my due pay, I have no real qualms. Not a bad attitude. <laughs> I like that attitude. That's hilarious. So funny. Okay. Let's see here. I would like to ask you something, some things about that. Oh. And who are you two? I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So, this makes you a detective? Yeah, sorry, I had to hide it. Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? Well, I was reading a book, then I nodded off. However that, I was I was awoken by a person's scream, then I locked the front door. Since it would be dangerous if a wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? Well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend. But it was long ago, and that family has long since perished. Yes. Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy is this guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine next to sister. Hello. You mind if we talk for a no. 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 I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay then, you know, just be that way. I didn't ask for this. Kids are tough to deal with. Instantly, the design for the de detective bas badge got changed last year, didn't it? I changed it a lot. Wish I knew how to make these replicas myself. Guess I'll ask him some things too. What do you want? Found anything out? You've been here in investigating, I hope. Yeah. So you saw for yourself the victim, Carol. The Ledia, the stab of a knife. There were multiple stab wounds. But not much beating, it seems. Not much blo blood at all, in fact. So, what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. It's a little sour, I guess. Probably love berry. <laughs> you licked it? That's the fastest way. Captain, might I recommend not licking everything you see? Even if it were poison, I would... Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf, huh? We've only looked a little. little. We haven't found one left yet. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. So, is there actually, like... Wait. Oh, there is! Hardly any blood, only juice on the wall. Almost no animals around town. Ah, oh, nice! Cool. Alright. Well, maybe you should fish around for a little bit more info. I bet Effie will bring something in herself. Hmm, will she? 
Found it never. More people, more lies. So weird. And I got more cookies. Let's beat this one up. Oh my god, it's so cute. You have, oh yes, you have. Good that you have finally have a. No, 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 no. It's a tag. Tasty! Not very big though. Hmm, what now? Maybe I'll read a book. Okay, okay! I gotta practice my reading. I'm doing my job. It's a lie. Eating all the lies. They're so yummy. I'm gonna go around and eat all these quickly. <sighs> no, I'm... them all. Read it though. It's okay if I take this. Yeah, totally. Papa says when you get your hands on something, it's yours, so I'm taking it. Mm -hmm. On a stroll. Yep. I see. Don't want her off too far, please. Effie. Yahoo! Not gonna play outside? 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 Well... I can't leave my room because my brother tells me not to. Oh, let's take a let's talk then. Okay. So you've never left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are here in town. Even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? I don't know, but my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. He. Hey, what's that photo? What's this? Oh, this? I was looking at the cover of a book in the library. That's me and my brother. Oh! Well, uh, it's kind of faded, but now you mention it, it does look like your shelf. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah. So name, my brother's name, and the other one is our father's. Maybe. It says Joe. So she can read. Nice! My brother said there weren't any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah, he never tells me anything. 
It was really fun getting to talk with you, Effie. Whenever, you, whenever anyone comes, Rivera says not to talk. Leo tells me shut up all the time, too. So we're buds. Yeah. That's right. There's been a lot of gossiping outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You didn't know? Uh, someone, uh, died last night. I see. Again. Hmm? I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah, sure. say. Hmm? Can't read yet. Nope, I'm trying, but not a word. I see. Shall I teach you some? Teach me! Sure! Hmm, let's see. Hmm. This is town. Oh my gosh, it's actually giving me a thing. Uh-huh. Correct. This is Loveberry. Correct. Alright, this is Vampire. That's all of them. Good job. Hooray! Maybe you're curious about something. Look it up right away. More likely to remember doing it yourself rather than being taught. Here, I'll give you this. A prize for your effort. Candy! Thanks! Nope. Okay, now. Hmm. It's you. Are you on your note? Oh, now. Yep. I see. Has he done anything to you? Huh? Why do you ask? Cool and dragons work together is... Very rare occurrence. Hmm. About how much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. No. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. <gasps> Horns and wings. Are you able to put these out freely? Well, well, I can, but it wears me out, and they're really wonky shaped. It's still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but those are symbols of being a dragon. Stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat it all, I don't mind. Uh, you cop guys have really good cake. Cop cake, cop cake. Hee <laughs> There are many different kinds of dragons. I can't remember ever seeing two who are like... And you're... I eat lies! I can taste flavor, but it's not... But if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. I wonder why. Never a unique kind of dragon, then. Seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We try to find it out what that is ourselves. We still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yeah, there are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Cursedy? Hmm, alright. We're protecting them. Protecting? As I've said before, it's a very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one, which cooperates with people. But I don't much trust humans. From that we know, there's a good chance of a dragon head appearing for humans. But they're sold as attractions for as slaves. They may and may have been stolen. Slaves? Attractions? Being forced to work for others, and not being treated well. Does that give you a picture? When I was born too, I was locked up in a case for show. <laughs> the captain saved me, and after that, he let me into on the horse. We also worked with a few dragons like Brett, who were being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Hmm, because they're rare. We're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you who trusts people and works with them. Well, I certainly don't consider him a person that's all worth trusting. Brett? <laughs> you still believe in him, and... Theo Theobald Leonhardt, we won't interfere. But I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So try not to get bullied? Yes, but there's a difference a lifespan. Dragons ordinary 
Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinary and rather long-lived. So it's lucky he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. Oh. So if you ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We would, we would, we would then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it. I'm sorry if I'm giving you sad thoughts with this, with that remark. But it's, but it is a long while off. Till then, you should cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa. Hey, think you said Tia Ball, Leon Pants, or something? Is that Papa's real name? Theobaldo, Theobald Leonhardt. Don't tell me he even he didn't even tell you his real name. Theobald Leonhardt. That's a pathetic name. That's one pathetic name. Thanks. Right. Sorry to prattle on. You have our support. Papa. Hmm. Does he make her call him father? <laughs> no. He just. What is it? I. I, I want to talk more. All right. But, like I said before, he was treated as an attraction from birth. He had many wounds, so I bet he was tortured too. Even after we took him in, he was still hesitant to open himself up to us. It took a long time, but now he is very reliable. And you, Mr. Captain? Well, I'm a dragon who's lived a long time. One of the most important people in my life was the captain who came before me. I can't remember clearly, but it seems that my egg appeared in front of her. She was a wonderful, heroic woman, no doubt. With her short, shorter lifespan, she lived. She's long since left us. Oh. But I never think that I should have never met her. If I hadn't, I sure, I'm sure I wouldn't be with the police either, because I wouldn't even been able be able to feel what I do. That's why you cherish your time with those you hold dear. It's too late once you're gone. Okay. All right, I'll give you this. Don't eat, don't eat much, you see. Candy, thanks, Mr. Captain. Candy! More tea cookies! Wait, no, wait, is it more tea cookies? No, she, oh, no, he gave me cherry candy. Oh, nice! I hate that guy, I don't really care for humans. But, in it, if anything happens, I'll do all I can to assist you. Oh, how nice of you. So this is where you got to your runt. Leo! Had some fun? Had some good fun? No. Had some good fun? Anything interesting? Um, well, I did this and this and this and this. I s- Ah, I see. I'll make a note of that- of this photo and the rest. I wonder if this will be enough. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey, Leo? What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Uh, money, beer, and women. <laughs> Correct. And, and I'm a woman. No, you're just a brat. Aw. So, do you hate me? Yeah, I hate your guts. What? Idiot, if I hated you, I wouldn't be carting you around with me, would I? Oh, you lied about hating me, so that means you like me. I like you, too. Oh, that was a lie, too. Which is it? it the opposite of lying about a not, a not lie is the anti-opposite of a fakey, untrue lie. The opposite of a not lie er where are we? <sighs> oh, excuse me. It's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. Like talk some, is that alright? Oh, yes, though my brain might be a bit slow. If you assist, Detective. Detective S. We have this get. Get! Mm. Now then, I would like to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Ah, er. Last night I was reading and then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so er. I heard a scream which woke me up, then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all, it would be dangerous even. If the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain later. We take care of this. Hmm. You still like lies, but I don't know. If you're sure, check my notes and remember what we've learned. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? 
Because you'll never progress from idiocy if I do if I just tell you. That makes sense. I'll do my best. Actually, I want to see the notes quickly. Um, there we go. Oh, I can actually look at it. Okay. Um. Yeah, you lied about the. That's a lie. He didn't. No, we know he did. Crap. No, he did actually open it. He actually did lock it because he went outside and locked it. Oopsies. I'll just skip this fight for you guys so you guys don't have to see this. Here we go, here it is. Oh wow, that one's really strong. <laughs> um, let's... Let's confront her about her lies. Last night, your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was quiet. Piper rarely spoke, but she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems like it was you who told her not to talk or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there's really no wolf is there. So then why? Since it's dangerous, things are outside, especially when strangers are in town. Have you seen someone attack yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing. Nor did I tell her about it. So the vampire legend you said you didn't know about it? The book in the library had information about vampires, a diary, I suppose. Seemed to be one Jill Ring Ringfire. Ringfire. Relative of yours, surely. In this photo, in addition to Mr. Jill. Jill. There's you and your sister with your names written on the back as well. So you evidently told your sister there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name. So the legend, it's real. Certainly, we are descendants of that vampire's family, and... Shouldn't you be leaving town quickly? What do you mean? Because it's 
a dark night tonight. Effie. <laughs> Leo! He is saying things I didn't form at the plaid. Where'd he go? I saw him go outside. He's really fast. I couldn't catch him. That's fine. You have to follow. The cops should be fine, but the, the feathers might be in danger. Shit. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Huh? The lock's busted. Hey, lend me that. Huh? That's my color. That juice stuff was making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez! When I get to the next town, I'll buy a new one. Okay. If the captains can meet up with feathers, they'd give me more, some relief, but wonder if there's any other exits. The back door. Whoa, okay, so things happen in there. Let's not talk about that room. Here we go. Ugh. I guess since this is the only place to go, I guess I'll have to look here. Lots of books. Huh. Let's see. What's he been reading? How to kill vampires. Jared's taken their heart and cut off their head. I think that's the book Keith was reading. What's the meaning of this? Maybe there's something in his room too. This is a bookmark. This is a book about vampires too. Vampires work against sunlight, is that true? It hurts them a bunch. But hold on, when I first met him, when the liar we've got here, if, if my guess is right, his sister Rochelle, right? He told, he told her not to leave a stranger around. The strangers are around, but she's never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Is there any more information? Nope. Okay. Don't! You're gonna scare the heck out of Rochelle! Rochelle, I wanna talk! Oh good, she's asleep. Might be not much time. Huh? Can't catch him. No control over her. A lot of lies. When we're driven by lies, things get annoying. They're overflowing. I gotta get rid of them. I gotta eat them. Blah, blah. All right, it's time to murder lies. Oh goodness, you're strong. Okay, I probably should heal before this. Let's grab this last one. Quick, I'm gonna quickly like with this battle. I'm gonna increase the and then let's fill up the rest of your gauge. There you go. Cool. Awesome sauce. 
I cleaned up. Hmm. What's this? Key for somewhere, I guess. And that room, and that rooms are locked. Leo, you won't die on me, will you? What's this all of a sudden? If you die, if you did die, I'd... Listen up, shut up and fall behind me. It's for rest, I'll protect you. Oh, shit. Huh, <laughs> huh. Um. Oh my gosh, this thing's so strong. Ugh, not really. Um, I'll just use triple knife, I guess. Okay, so let me quickly heal a poor Leo, because I done goofed on that one. There you go. Okay, oh my goodness gracious. Oh goodness, looks like a murder house is in here. Holy crap. Okay. The page is torn out of that book. With each generation, the vampire blood in our family has weakened, but there's a small chance of offspring being born with a denser vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable. They may attack people without realizing. Existing with humans is a difficult prospect. Thus, since moving to this town, a rule has been established to do away with such children if one is born. Two children are born to us, and one of them was born with a higher concentration of vampire blood. Their powers have not awakened, but it can't be long till then. But I couldn't lay a hand on a child of mine. My wife, too, perished along birthing the second child, so... I don't want to lose anyone anymore. From all the whole discussion with the humans of the town, it's a dark night tonight. One of, the, one of them was awakened as a vampire, and one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood? On the other hand, one of them has suck blood to live. And maybe they did by attacking all the prior townspeople and animals. Captain, Captain's orders, I'm here to save you. <laughs> huh? Where did you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon. It allows me to generally ignore physical obstacles. Hey, Vice Captain, what if, should a girl in this mansion, should, there should be a girl in this mansion. Any idea about her? A girl? This is the last room I checked. Oh, I found it you too. <gasps> Rochelle's not here? Where's the captain? She ev he evacuated the foreman and her assistant, then went to the patrol outside. Sounds dangerous. Hey, what are you mumbling on about? Let's get outside quick. After that, I want you to go guard the informant. And what do you orders me to me? Mr. Brett, please, just this once. You better catch him. Oh, God. This is not like I'm lending you a hand. I'll get to the informant and check for the captain. Thanks, your real help. It's a whole mess of truth and lies. A bunch of, bunch of bad, hazy feelings. We gotta do something about this in quick. Ah, shit. Shit. Oh god, this is not gonna end well. Um, let's just, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> uh, let's just, let's just play around, right? You know, let's just. Skill and skill for fire. Come on, you can do this. You won't die from this, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's do this one more time and that should kill most of them off, I think. Okay, so we can really, so we can defend ourselves against these guys. Okay, cool. Actually, I want to see what level we're at. Nine. I think we need to get to. I want to get to level ten, to be honest. So let's let's go let's go against this guy. Skill. 
Miley. Nah, actually, you know what? I want to make you do a little lie because you're you're a really good support too. Epi. Nice. Okay. Awesome. But I need you to eat something. Skill. Let's do triple fire again. Whew. Awesome. Awesome. I think we're... Okay, cool. Awesome sauce. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's save quickly. Also, let's have some tea cookies. Okay. Wish there was something that could re level up. Actually, let's see if we can use. Can we use a skill outside of. Oh, maybe. Okay, we can. Okay, that's fine. That's okay with me. Okay, let's try to avoid all these bad guys. I'm probably in here. Oh, goodness. It's. Well, said a little, but I can light it for a second. Captain, is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's... No, I didn't, Mr. Captain! Eh? The sensation. Looks like I died. Warning, Captain. Blood and poison sucked. Hmm? They do say a dragon blood doesn't taste very good. Good to know. Um, uh, Mr. Captain, you're a ghost spirit zombie? I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal? He can't die. This guy, stab him, cook him. <laughs> Put him in a stew. Can't die? But he just revived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. The one who attacked me was that girl. I was caught completely unaware in Minwell, as you can see. After that, she ran further down and then suddenly collapsed, and then another one. He's arrested us, but we're the experts from here on out, you'll see. Let me rest here for a bit. Anything else, I'm going to be right here. <laughs> yeah, no. He's just going to sleep. So I'm going to knife at him. <laughs> GG. Okay. Shit. I didn't... <laughs> Crap, I didn't save. Good to see you again. So, you didn't leave town after all. Well, didn't say I didn't warn you. No complaints if I kill you and suck your blood. First question, are you a vampire? That's right, I'm a vampire. Did you attack a woman last night? Yes, that was me. Enough lies. Keep it at that, please. I first met you in the morning with the sun still out, and I found the rest of the diary stowed away in that room behind the kitchen. According to that, the only one sibling who inherited the, the vampire blood. Lies. I'm not lying. It was me who attacked her. Last night and sucked her blood. You're gonna get swallowed up, kid. It was me who attacked the townspeople and my own father. I did all of it. Rochelle didn't do anything. Don't go answering questions I didn't even ask. You shouldn't lie so much if you're not used to it. Effie? No, it's too big, too sad, I don't wanna. When they are gonna wait for him to be swallowed up by lies. I don't want that either. It's what you have to do, and only you can do it. Because I'm a liar too. Eat up all the, eat up, eat it all up, so he won't tell these lies anymore. I'll do it. Okay, I want to do a little lie to you. And you can't really do anything. a lot of that a lot cool and then i'm going to do another triple knife and then you are going to do um take with burning eyes yeah okay 
now, uh, wait, you're, no, you're not loading. Okay, you're not going lower then. All right, I'll do one more of these, and then Athena, do triple fire. So you can go ahead and get rid of the rest of those. Okay. Uh, you can do one more triple knife, and then Athena can't do any more. Okay, so you actually need to, no, not a big, a big lie. Skill, you need to just do a free fire on you. I'll eat all of you. Rochelle. Uh, I see. Hover kept it a secret all along. <laughs> uh, I wonder if vampires can make you of animal blood. Because <laughs> there's human blood in me too, of course. Michelle, did you attack someone last night? Last night I was sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping, right? Is that right? Never mind then. I'm sure a wolf must have just gotten into town. You should be careful, Michelle. Brother, I'm sorry for strangling you. Oh, no, 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 shit. I'm sorry for strangling you. I felt strange all of a sudden. All these town people left after the incident, as if fleeing. We've hunted all the animals around town. My blood alone can't keep up. There's so little left. What should I do? People? Travelers? Not off at night. Michelle went outside. When I went out, I found Michelle asleep in a human. How long did you know I've been lying? I'm around time I lied about being a detective and questioned you. Plus, you have a habit of smiling when you lie. You should be very wary of habit like that. habits like that. Haha. <laughs> you know, I think I much prefer you acting natural like this. Heh, <laughs> it wears me out. But all the pieces were in plain sight, did you? You're right, maybe I wanted someone to stop me. And it was all just selfishness. My father and I opposed that rule and couldn't lay a hand on Michelle. But when you look when you look at this, I suppose there was a good reason for the rule. I'll have to redeem myself somehow. This town has become so empty. Well, anyway, you're still rubber bloodstained. I can lend you some clothes if you like. No, we're going to be out of here before these guys wake up. I went to help them and I got punched, and Mr. Captain fainted. What? He's like, what the hell? Don't scare me. And isn't that cookie thing Love and mentioned a load of bull? What did he mean anyway? The world may never know. We should keep going. You know, and I'm sleepy. Do we have to walk all those roads again? If you don't like it, I'll leave you here. No, no, no. I'd like to. I do like it. Oh, take care. Goodbye. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Er, eek, sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. If I win, then sure. Got it. Here we go. Rock, paper.